if the number of unemployed is equal to 20,000, the number of employed is equal to 50,000, the number of people who are actively seeking employment is equal to 10,000. The people who are 16 years of age or older is equal to 1,20,000 and the number of people who are 16 years of age or older but living in the institution is equal to 20,000. The unemployment rate is... Now let us first try to define the... How do we define a person to be unemployed? A person who is not working is considered to be unemployed if he is available for work. If he is available for work. And has actively searched for searched for work in last four weeks or has been laid off from his job has been laid off from a job and is waiting to be recalled. and or is willing to start a job in next 30 days will start a job in next 30 days so a person who is not working is considered to be unemployed if he is available for work or is actively searching for work in the last four weeks or he has been laid off from a job and is waiting to be recalled or will start a job in the next 40 days. So in this case, the number of unemployed has been given. That is equal to 20,000. Now the unemployment rate is equal to number of unemployed divided by the labor force. So the number of unemployed is equal to 20,000 which satisfy the following criteria and the labor force is equal to is equal to number of people either employed or actively seeking employment so number of people employed plus number of people actively seeking seeking employment So in this case, the labor force will be equal to 50,000 that is the number of people that is employed plus 10,000 that is the number of people actively seeking employment. So the labor force will be equal to 60,000. So if we put the value, if we put the values in the this equation, then my unemployment rate will be 20,000 by 60,000 into 100 so that will be equal to 33.34% hence the correct option is option A